I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Chikuri Ritwik for scoring rank number one in MCS Surgical Gastroenterology in NESS 2022. And I wish you uh, all the very best and congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So, great. And can we, can we know your uh, brief uh, background history from where you started till date? I'm from Telangana, sir, Varangal. Uh, I did my UG and PG from uh, Ames, New Delhi. And I've always wanted to do my super specialty also from Ames, New Delhi. I wanted to finish my education there. Only. <laughs> so, UG, PG, super specialty uh, in the same place. Yes, so, so, five and a half, six years, six plus three, nine, nine plus three, <laughs> it is 12 years. Yes, yes sir. And yes, sir. Uh, most of your, uh, I mean, uh, career during your early phase of your life. Yes, all, all my adult life. <laughs> <laughs> all your adult life. It will be in uh, the Premier Institute. Any, any, any specific reasons for that? I love Ames Delhi, sir. <laughs> <laughs> as and, as, as and as that. personally, I don't, uh, think there's any other better institute I can go in India. Very, very nice. Very nice. So, I mean, is it is it all through uh, your, your journey? I mean, uh, from uh, I mean, pre-PG days or pre-MBBS days, uh, the, the journey was the, the, the same approach for the exam. Is there any difference in approach for those exams? Uh, there is a difference, sir. Uh, so, for the super specialty, the pressure was immense because I had to get either rank 1 or rank 2. Previous exams, it was okay. I could get a uh, decent rank, top 50, top 30. That would have been okay. But this time, that was not the uh, scenario. So, the pressure was of a different level. And hence, the preparation also was to that level. I've never prepared this hard. So, it's uh, exactly the bullseye. Yes. <laughs> so, now, can you tell me when you started the preparation, how you started, what all you did? Uh, I finished my MS in July, sir. Last session, I could not, uh, I was not selected for the second level. Um, I, I got less, I did not qualify for the second level. So after I finished my MS, uh, when the NEET uh, dates were uh, released, then uh, there was very little time for NEET. So I uh, initially prepared only for NEET until uh, the exam for NEET. And then uh, after NEET, I relaxed a little, saw my rank, it was not good. So uh, then... Uh, can it we know? Tough. Can we know what was the rank? I got three ninety five, sir. I mean, it is a good rank only. I mean, it is not uh, comparable to this, but still, it is a good rank. <laughs> I had higher expectations yeah, I, and aspirations. <laughs> Probably so that was not your primary exam. No, sir. It was. I uh -huh. uh, I had NEET also had very good institute for surgical gastro. Okay. But yeah, I couldn't do it. Okay. So then, what you did from that point of time? From after NEET. So after NEET, then that was the time I sat down, made a schedule, uh, how to read uh, the two textbooks. So I did not see the speed videos prior to that also. And uh, speed is a huge, huge app. Uh, I mean, there's, there, are, there are so many resources, you will never see the end of resources, as so much resources. Initially, I had a confusion as to which videos I have to follow, which I should not follow. Then I saw Basant Sir, Basant Sir's videos were there and I knew him from my uh, PG days. Uh, so I decided, okay, I'll at least finish his part of videos. So I used to read from the textbook and whenever I had time, I used to rush through the videos to see if there was any new points that were being discussed or some new concept that was being discussed. So, uh, and speed helped immensely. I don't think there's any other coaching institute right now, which has a better approach than speed for the super specialty exam. Uh, the faculty are always approachable. The uh, resources are wonderful. The exams are very close to the actual exams. And yeah, I speed was uh, a very, very huge help in my preparations. <laughs> Great. It's nice to hear from you. And the faculty and the team will be definitely be very happy to hear this wonderful words from you. And uh, because... Uh, the resource that is kept uh, is is like a, uh, it's 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 always kept live and always is open and is always updated on daily basis. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> so, no, I understand that it is updated, <laughs> but for someone who's just coming into speed, they'll see that there are four complete modules of uh, GI surgery. Then there is general surgery, there's sadist and everything. So it uh, and for me personally, I had like two months 
two uh, two months to uh, compress all the preparation in. For someone who's doing his preparation from his MS, that would be best. Like he would, he could, he can. He has the time to go through each and every resource. I did not have that luxury, so I was alarmed. I even wanted to message you. Okay, sir, please tell me which of the videos should I uh, watch. And uh, but yeah, finally I figured out, and it all turned out well. <laughs> yeah, it's like an encyclopedia that has been made that way. Exactly. I mean, to be made and to I mean that's how people choose. You choose what you wanted to do. That will take some yes, time. Yes, sir. then they will try to figure out what should i do then accordingly that's how it was made and exactly you nailed that way and uh, so you are preparation for rank number 1 that is very clear because only that will give you a seat and yes, uh, how could you conceive that and work for work towards that when I mean, that's that's a point where i want to ask you because people will work and they get a first rank they will be happy but here you have to get a first rank and i have to work for that there's two different scenarios how, how did you conceive and how do you work towards that So, like I told, first rank, getting first rank in GI surgery was uh, unimaginable for me uh, at at a point of time. But uh, I slowly started asking people. Uh, I asked all the previous talkers, or because I knew the department, I knew the residents there, so I asked them for tips. And so I decided, okay, from my side, I'll work as much as I can, and I'll use as many resources as I can. I do not want to regret that. Okay. i did not look at these old questions i did not look at this and that is why i couldn't do it so i planned all my resources i used all of them well i asked it for from all the toppers then basant sir had been a huge help all his suggestions uh, his previous exam discussions um, so all in all all these things help it was never the aim that okay i have to get first i need to read only for that i knew that uh, somewhere in the back of mind you work hard enough and if you are lucky on that day you will get it so that was what uh, my primary uh, intention was and i got lucky <laughs> very very nice and uh, how many questions did you attend this exam i attempted 79 sir one question you left one question i left just because i uh, i don't know, i just left it i i thought okay let's leave it uh, one we leave it <laughs> yeah no actually in in south we call it as uh, dishti <laughs> okay <laughs> so i just wanted to leave one just for that sake okay <laughs> okay okay because i strongly recommend uh, uh, all my students start in maximum number of questions i mean I mean uh, full question full set because that will give more chances to uh, hit uh, the ranks no uh, actually what uh, in the exam uh, the first time i ran through the entire question paper i could do only 58 questions uh, i mean i was sure of 58 questions and then uh, in the second round i decided okay let's add a few more and by the end it was 79 so i thought 58 was sure the others were a little uh, guess work so uh, let's see what happens and after coming out it i was kind of uh, i thought my marks were coming around the region of uh, 60 qu- correct questions so i thought acha maybe if, if i had attempted only 58 that would probably have been okay because no negative markings then <laughs> but yeah i scored much higher than that yeah so taking a chance is always advantages than not taking it yes yes sir so what is the message that you want to leave to the future aspirants of uh, surgical gastroenterology i would say that preparation for gi surgery is extremely hard and speed will definitely help a lot in that preparation um and you have to read your textbooks follow speed at least there are few things you follow and it will probably help you everyone can't get to first rank everyone needs a little luck so you work hard if not in in ess in neat because for, uh, and even i uh, did not uh, prepare only for in ess it is a huge gamble for anyone to take to decide that okay i'll do only in ess i want to do only from aims delhi uh, because there are so many aspirants in gi surgery that becomes impossible everyone is as well read as you no one is inferior so you need to keep your mind open to other options also and prepare well use resources <laughs> very very nice of you and having achieved uh, all through your career of uh, being in ug in aims and pg in aims and super specialty today in uh, mca surgical gastro in aims new delhi still you keep yourself very simple very humble very polite and this is the thing that we need to learn from you 
yes and uh, thank you thank you very much sir. i mean thank you for your kind words yeah that is very important after achieving so much but still being calm and cool and being uh, that way uh, is what is going to give you a complete success there are success in two ways success in achieving skills and success, success in achieving degrees at the same time the wholesome is being uh, having being good and will give a very good package and that will be appreciated by people around us and also by the patients mainly and definitely that is going to keep you a very long way and my experience uh, i'm just sharing that with you and definitely you will do wonders in years to come i wish you a great career Uh, hopefully hopefully it'll all come true sir thank sure, you very sure. much it is already it is already uh, it's, it has come true and it is almost done and it's just only a question of time then you're going to come out with that so have a great career in surgical gastroenterology wish you all the best and all the success thank you thank you sir. thank you thank you